The events described in today's reading must have had the disciples shaking their heads in confusion and wonder. Very human. We're lucky in that we know what would come next. Listen now as we hear about the transfiguration of Jesus. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, open our hearts and minds to your word as we hear today's scripture. Amen. I'm reading from the New International Version from Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 to 27, and Matthew 17, verses 1 to 8, and you'll find that on page 798 in your Red Q Bible. From that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and on the third day be raised to life. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord, he said. This shall never happen to you. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will find it. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with the angels. And then he will reward each person according to what they have done. And now Matthew 17, verses 1 to 8. After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, the brother of James, and led them to a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then there appeared before them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, this is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said. Don't be afraid. When they looked up, they saw no one but Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> 